Hey everyone, I made a thing. So I've been working on this project for a few months on and off. I'm very excited it's finally working. It's not finished yet, but it's actually usable at this point. The project was to convert my CNC router from the classic manual tool chain spindle where you bolt tools in by hand to an automated system or ATC. So what's an ATC or automated tool changer? It allows you to use different tools in a single job without manual tool changes. It's pretty much magic. It saves a ton of time and allows for more complex jobs. In this case, it's using a spindle with a pneumatic tool clamp. About this implementation, I had lots of misadventures along the way. The first spindle wasn't properly grounded, a factory issue from the manufacturer, and caused breaker trips and shocks. I got lots of help from the community figuring that out. In the end, the manufacturer replaced the spindle. The spindle maker GLG was extremely unhelpful in terms of support and documentation. They couldn't provide instructions that made any sense. I had to figure it out from the internet and trial and error. I also had to make the tool rack and the compressed air stuff. So this is a 40,000 RPM or rotations per minute spindle, which should be good for aluminium. It's 2,500 watts. The collets are ISO 20 with ER16 tool holding. So how the spindle works? Pretty much, you use it like a normal spindle with a variable frequency drive, but it also has an internal tool grabbing mechanism. It's got various compressed air inputs. The main one is a locking release mechanism. Also one for a seal and one to prevent dust from entering the spindle, which would mess it up. You control air going into the inputs with electro valves, each controlled by a MOSFET on the smoothie board. How the software side of things works. So we have to generate the right G-code sequence to grab and release each tool. We do this by remembering which tool is currently being carried. When a new tool is required, we go deposit the current tool at its parking location and go grab the other one. We use a custom Fusion 360 post processor for this. Later, I'll be teaching Smoothie to do it. Most of the work is already done for this. Fusion 360 has post processors written in JavaScript and a fully documented interface, which is pretty awesome. And that lets you do pretty crazy things like this. For documentation, I'm currently writing it at smoothieware.org slash ATC. The machine I've been doing this on is a Roboseed RS6090R. It's a 600 by 900 millimeter router with a 80 millimeter Z axis. A bit of a plug, I sell this machine and other custom smoothie powered machines such as CNC mills, routers, giant 3D printers and laser cutters at robotseed.com. If you want to implement the same system using a smoothie board, you can see the documentation but don't hesitate to ask for help. I'm also looking for help with implementing the smoothie side of things so this becomes simpler and doesn't depend on Fusion 360 like it currently does. I'd like to thank Jim Morris for helping me figure out how to get smoothie to do this. The folk at my fab lab, Tfab in Brest, who helped a lot with the pneumatic side of things. The folks in the electronics Freenode IRC channel. Jim Morris again and Adam Green for listening to all the spindle grounding problems and offering solutions. The router was paid for by Région Bretagne, so thanks a ton to them. Thanks a lot for watching!